Hi, so as a complete and utter aside, this brown powder, greenish brown actually, is the precursor to the metallo organic ink. I'll go through how to make it in another video. But if you add it to water, this kind of brownish green liquid is what you get out of it. Now, I was playing around with this as I wanted to do, and here is a piece of steel. It's actually the insert from a cable drum, and it's just a bit of steel. And the really amazing thing is, if I do this, some of that brown fluid, dip my tissue paper in it, and just rub it on there, that coppers up straight away. We get a pretty good copper coat. Now, normally you can do that with copper sulphate. If you take copper sulphate and rub it on steel, it'll do the same thing, it's a replacement reaction. But the copper sulphate doesn't copper as well as that, and it comes off quite easily. This one actually cleans it, so it cleans the steel underneath, then lays a tough, thin layer of copper on top of the steel. It's absolutely amazing. And I just thought that was so cool that I had to share it with you. So if I give that a bit of a clean, use some copper cleaner. Like I say, if you did this with a, an ordinary copper salt, like copper sulfate, you would get that coloration, but this cleaner would take it straight off. They get a nice, bright, durable copper finish, copper coating onto the steel. Now I thought that was really cool, so I wanted to share it with you. So I don't have to just rub it on, because I can fit the thing into the jar and just swirl it around in there. It will copper plate it as well. So there is a solution for putting a tough copper coating onto steel. Now, there's got to be a use for that. I just thought that was amazing. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you and thank you for watching.